In our previous videos about weather, we stated how local weather conditions are caused by the movement of air masses. While air masses have a great effect on the weather, they aren't the initial and main driving force for it. Do you know what is? Well, here's a what am I riddle to help solve it. I provide light but I'm not a candle. I'm hot but I'm not a bonfire. I have rays but I'm not an aquarium. I'm a star but I'm not a celebrity. I rise in the morning, but I'm not someone getting out of bed. What am I? Did you get the answer to our riddle? If you said sun, then you got it correct. The sun not only is the answer to our riddle, but the sun is the driving force for all weather here on the earth. You see, the weather is a result of uneven heating from the sun. The uneven heating leads to the temperatures being different in different places, and different temperatures leads to changing weather conditions. This uneven heating is a result of the rotation of the Earth, combined with how water absorbs heat in a different way from land. Land absorbs heat energy and releases heat energy quickly. Think about walking barefoot on the beach or across concrete in the summer. Your feet feel like you're on lava. It's because land released the heat energy very quickly. In comparison, water absorbs heat energy and releases heat energy slowly. Think about how long it takes for a pot of water to boil on the stove. It takes a lot longer to heat water than it does to heat sand. Since the Earth has large amounts of land and water, the differences in these heating patterns cause something known as convection currents. Convection currents are areas where either air or water moves due to uneven heat. The warmer material rises while the cooler material sinks. Global convection currents are set up in the atmosphere because of the unequal heating of Earth's surfaces. There are three atmospheric convection areas that influence the climate regions on Earth. First, the tropical region begins at the equator and extends to about 30 degrees latitude. Next, the temperate region extends from there to about 60 degrees latitude. Lastly, the polar region extends from there to the North Pole, 90 degrees latitude. In between these regions are the global wind belts. Global wind belts occur between climate regions because of the characteristics of the convection currents in those regions. The prevailing direction of the global winds in these large regions affects weather conditions. Convection currents lead to global winds. These are winds that occur in each of the climate regions and affect the direction of weather systems on Earth. For example, trade winds and westerlies affect the direction of tropical weather systems, like hurricanes. This is why you never see hurricanes go across the equator. Nor do they turn towards Africa. The winds push them northwest towards America. Jet streams are also a global wind. Jet streams are fast-moving currents of air that move from west to east in the northern hemisphere. The jet stream is so powerful that a plane can fly from New York to Africa in 9 hours, but on the return trip, the plane gets slowed down and the flight becomes 10 hours. Lastly you have the polar jet stream. The polar jet stream brings down cold polar conditions from the north. While the air is subject to convection currents due to the sun, it is not the only thing that gets heated by sunlight. The oceans also have convection currents. Ocean surface currents circulate warm and cold ocean waters in convection patterns and influence the weather and climates of the land masses nearby. For example, the Gulf Stream influences the eastern Atlantic shoreline of the United States by bringing warm, moist air. This helps warm the east coast and keeps it from completely freezing during the winter. On the opposite coast, the cold California current influences its western Pacific shoreline by bringing cold, moist air. The reason California isn't a desert like its neighboring states Arizona and Nevada is because the cold current lowers air temperatures as it flows around the coast. Speaking of flow, now it's time for us to flow into our review. The sun is the driving force behind the Earth's weather. Convection currents are caused by uneven heating of Earth's surface, including the water, 
which releases heat energy slowly, and land, which releases heat energy quickly. Global convection currents are divided into three major regions. First, the tropical region begins at the equator and extends to about 30 degrees latitude. Next, the temperate region extends from there to about 60 degrees latitude. Lastly, the polar region extends from there to the North Pole, 90 degrees latitude. In between these regions are the global wind belts. Finally, ocean surface currents circulate warm and cold ocean waters in convection patterns and influence the weather and climates of the land masses nearby. Warm waters warm the nearby air, and cool waters cool the air. So, if you're going for a swim in the summertime, it'll probably be a little more comfortable planning a vacation in California instead of Florida. If you learned anything from this video or felt like it was educational, don't forget to leave us some love. We put a lot of work into it, and all support is greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot, and see you on the next video.